An air-cushioned watercraft can move very quickly because it doesn't have to push its way through water. Pressurized air is pumped under its bottom and the craft glides over the water surface. Thanks to the air cushion, it moves easily over swamps, sand or snow. To make a toy air cushioned craft, we attach a piece of plastic tube to the central hole in a compact disc and pull a rubber balloon over the tube. We inflate it and put the disc on the table. The disc and the balloon glide over the table with hardly any friction. Perhaps the craft is afloat because of a jet stream that rushes out of the nozzle. Let's check it. We start the craft above the table and see that it falls down, which means that jet reaction is not enough to keep it up. And we have to look for a different explanation. The air goes out of the balloon through a narrow slot between the disc and the table. Viscous friction forces impede the air movement through the narrow slot. To push the air out, the pressure underneath the disc has to be greater than the atmospheric one. The elevated pressure is created by the inflated balloon and keeps the craft afloat. Do you think everything is clear now? Well, let's make another experiment. We turn the craft upside down, bring it close to the ceiling and let it go. The craft is suspended from the ceiling and doesn't fall down. Now the disc works as a sucker. This too can be explained. Let's recall Bernoulli's principle, which states the greater the speed of the flow, the lower the pressure inside it. When the air from the balloon rushes out of a wide nozzle into the narrow slot between the disc and the ceiling, the balloon speed rises sharply, which means the pressure inside it falls as sharply and becomes lower than the atmospheric one. So the atmospheric pressure presses the disc against the ceiling. Well, we have made two experiments and provided two explanations for them. When the craft glides over the table, the pressure in the slot is elevated due to viscous friction. When the craft is suspended from the ceiling, the pressure in the slot is reduced due to Bernoulli's principle effect. Well, in that case, the same flow of air in the slot between the disc and the supporting surface can create both elevated and reduced pressure. Do you think you could solve this paradox?